My cold frame setup I'm very excited about. Let me get a wider view here. So here is my cold frame and it's a nice simple design here. Uh, it's just a literally a, a box with the sides sloped a bit. And I've had this one for a number of years. This is uh, a, one of those glass little storm doors on it, uh, but my little boy broke the glass out of it, which was a huge pain. Oh my gosh, it took me forever to clean up all of those little squares of glass. And, uh, but I got him up eventually, sort of. Uh, anyway, so I put plastic over it this year, which also makes it much lighter and I just put these boards, uh, one thing if you're putting the boards down to hold whatever kind of plastic or glass, make sure that you don't put the boards on top on the, on the downhill side. You want them on the front like this, so that way the rainwater can wash off, doesn't get trapped up there, and uh, rot your boards you know, quicker than they normally would. And I just use some sheet metal screws to hold those down. And that's working great. Uh, and I just used, I didn't use any kind of special plastic. I just got the heavy duty six mil uh, clear hardware plastic from, from the hardware store. And that's all I'm using here. Um, it'll break down in the sun eventually, but it ought to last a, a couple of years. And I needed to buy some anyway. And uh, so that, so it made some sense. Basically I did the soil blocks in here as well. So, many, so first of all, I want you to notice it's a nice warm day and this is partly open. This is a miracle in my opinion. I've had this cold frame for a few years and I've never had good success with it. The main reason I never did is this thing gets really hot surprisingly fast. And I would come out here and go, oh no, it's 100 degrees in there, I'm burning up my plants. And, uh, you know, it would be really cold out, but if it was a sunny, cold day, it gets really hot in the cold frame. And so I never was able to regulate the temperature well. Well, I read Elliot Coleman's book, um, Four Season, was it Four Season Garden? Something, or, I forget the name of his book, I'm sorry. Um, but it's basically how to extend your season. And he's in Maine growing food all year in unheated greenhouses and cold frames and things like that. So um, yeah, I'm in North Carolina, so <laughs> I've got it way easy. I'm in the mountains, so it makes it a little colder, but still a uh, lot warmer than Maine. Uh, anyway, one of the things that he introduced is this cool mechanism right here. So it's this little arm that lifts the lid of my cold frame and it does it relative to the temperature. Now there's no thermostat or any kind of electricity on this so I don't have to do anything. The, um, the way it works is it has this little, let's see, this little cylinder right here and the cylinder is has this little rod, I don't know how well y'all can see this, there you go, has a little rod right there and uh, that there's a some kind of chemical in there, I don't know what it is exactly, uh, and when it heats up it expands like most everything but this ex expands significantly and pushes that rod out and when that rod gets pushed out it opens this cold frame more. When it gets colder, the uh, fluid kind of constricts down and that rod goes back in and gets compressed back in and the cold frame lowers. And so far this thing is working excellent. You can see right now it is, I don't see that well, but it's a little over 80 degrees in here. So it's really warm. It's a, like I say, it's a really, really warm day. Um, colder days, it's been staying in, in the 60s in here with that mechanism. So it seems like uh, it doesn't keep the temperature exact, but the plants I'm planting in here don't need it exact. Now to open this all the way, you just squeeze these guys and now I can lift it. So in here, 
I have planted cold tolerant things. You can see my little labels back there. A couple things on, on operating this. One, the, the big thing that's tough for this, maintaining a cold frame, is keeping it watered. So uh, because it, it does get a lot of sun, now one thing that helps is it is enclosed a lot of the time, most of the time. So it, uh, you know, it does, all the moisture doesn't escape, it stays kind of humid in here. Uh, but when it's hot, it does vent, and then it, the moisture escapes really quickly. So like today, watering is going to be a challenge. And so, a uh, couple of options. One, you don't want to water really, with really heavily. In other words, you don't want to have a, a strong stream that can hurt these little baby plants. So what I've been using is just a, another sort of pump mechanism here. I've just been using one of these guys. Do not use one that you've had poison or something like that in. Um, the only thing I've ever had in this is water and compost tea that I use in this. Um, so I'm just putting water out of my, you know, rain barrels or spigot and um, running through here. So it's pretty clean water. Anyway, just don't run anything. If you've had herbicides in here, obviously don't put those on your plants or it will kill them and poison you possibly um, when you go to eat them. So anyway, uh, that does a pretty good job of putting water down. It is a little light. I, I feel like if you had more, I would really hook up a hose and you want a really fine sort of mist of water going on here. But uh, that's the cold frame. It's, uh, I did the, again, I did the soil block method with the little soil block maker and made all these little soil blocks and uh, so far so good it's doing uh, doing really well and I uh, can't I couldn't be happier I ought to see these guys um, really getting a lot more germination and growth we had just had a cold snap and it's definitely ended it's supposed to be almost 80 today which is crazy in March but uh, yeah, they ought to start growing really well with all this extra heat and sun. And uh, just to keep them watered, and they ought to do well. The big advantage of uh, you know doing a, a, a seed bed like this, uh, one is that everything's in one spot. I don't have to run around. I can water in just one little go. I don't have to run around trying to find all my seeds and... Uh, so watering becomes easier. The other is that they're protected at night. So I can have all of these guys um, growing much earlier. And I just went, we went, we just had nights that were in, you know, uh, 15 and 16 degree nights. And I just threw a blanket over this cold frame and they were totally fine. I mean, they didn't grow much, but they weren't damaged at all. They seemed to be fine. So uh, that worked really well. I'm very happy about that. And with this arm, uh, with this arm, it really regulates the temperature nicely, and they do well. Uh, they're just growing like wildfire in here. Um, the problem I've had, the other big issue is I like to do a lot of mulch. So if I have mulch like this, so this is a garden bed actually. Uh, with deep lots of leaves and I just have limbs thrown on there so it doesn't blow away uh, planting in this planting seeds into this is pretty near impossible for most things other than like beans and peas if you transplant into this it works really nicely you get the plant started already then you just pull a little bit of of the mulch aside and put your plants right in it and I'll show you that whenever I get to that so here's how I'm starting seeds. Let me know what you think. See if uh, let me know if you have some other ideas that I'm missing, other things that make this easier, and uh, what things you've had good results with. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe.